It's one against five, but don't expect any mercy from the Gladiators. That's Gauntlet up next. The Wolfman, 42, six foot, 89 kilos. He's a professional bad guy. Watch out, challengers. The only ashes I'm interested in is the Aussie challengers. The ashes. The ashes. Fury? I can live with Fury. Can you? National pride will always spur you on. A gladiator, that will knock you dead. In... Gauntlet. To score the maximum 10 points, the challenger must get all the way in less than 20 seconds. The first up is Eunice. And she's going to be facing the Storm. Wake up, Paul. Vogue, the Fist of Fury, Nightshade, and Flame. Contender. So a big chance here for Eunice to get an extra 10 points to add to her score. Ready Let's see go. how she goes. Nightshade couldn't stop her, neither could Flame, over in a great time. Eunice, you can stop now. It's over, it's over. <laughs> I just want to do it again. <laughs> I can tell you were really psyching yourself up for that one. Yeah, I, I, I just love them ones. Contact sports, I just love them. Well, now we know why, because you just showed the gladiators what you were made of. Ten points. What time was it? What time? Let me tell you, it was 14.3 seconds. Yes! That was unbelievable. Eunice faced three Australian and two British gladiators. So now, let's take out Fury and replace her with Lightning. Now Nellie is facing three Brits and two Aussie gladiators. I was a challenger in the first series. Uh, I got to the semi-finals, I broke my leg. So I didn't get to prove my stuff. So I came back to represent my country in the ashes. John Anderson about to send Nellie off on the run of her life. She's got a big heart, this girl. She's still got a plate in her ankle, and now she's up against five of the toughest female gladiators you will ever see. Two, one. And away goes Nellie now. First point of calls, Bo. Can she get past her? Bo doing well, but she's past now. Storm holding her up. Good work here by Storm. She's got the big arms around her. Oh, no, she's come down. Nellie's down. She's up again now. The first three gladiators weren't too hard for Nelly, but once she came up to flame, it was all over. Let me ask you, have you ever run the gauntlet before? Never. Do you want to do it again? <laughs> Maybe. Uri, you're a very brave girl. Unlucky they hit you very hard there. Yeah, the third hit was a huge hit. I didn't, could, couldn't see that one coming, but anyway, that's why it goes. Well, you don't actually know it, Nelly, but it looks like you've actually got lipstick on your, on your cheek. I don't know how you somebody kissed you on your cheek from there. I know. I think that was that really big hit. I, I couldn't see it. But you're OK. No injuries? Yeah, no injuries. I'm fine. Well, no points, but never mind. Let's hear it for Nelly. Well done. Ten points to Eunice, none to Nelly. So it's just a wall to go before the eliminator. Great Britain leads 23 to 8. Andrew's now in readiness for his gauntlet run as the gladiators come out. Oh, did you see that? Wolf's pushed Andrew. Andrew's pushed Wolf. Well, I don't know what the crowd thinks, but I reckon the referee's going to have to do something about that. Who does this guy think he is? He's being called up now by John Anderson. He's had a lot of experience with Wolfman before. It is time you learn how to behave. And you won't be in the game much longer if you don't behave. That's the first and the final warning. even started and already Wolf has been yellow carded. 
Andrew's first up in the gauntlet, and he'll be up against the might of our Australian and British gladiators, Rhino, Taipan, Wolf, Vulcan, and Warrior. You know why they call me Warrior? Because there's nothing I like more than a good battle. Contender, ready! Well, Andrew absolutely loves the gauntlet. He's got the quickest Australian time ever through this gauntlet run. This is going to be a good battle for sure. Two, one. Andrew comes up to Rhino first of all. Rhino sends him back. Now he's passing. Tight band next. Can he get around him? Yes, he does. Keeps his reputation as one of the fastest scorer runners around. This was a superb effort. That was your fault, man. Well, what's this? Wolfman accusing Vulcan of letting Andrew through. Oh, no, Vulcan's pushed him. Warrior steps in. Who is this guy, Wolfman? Well, well done, Andrew. <laughs> Sorry about all that. But you got 24.9 seconds it took you to get through. You got yourself five points. Woo! Yeah! Tell you what, best they don't know tunnel of love, mate. <laughs> but Andrew, you knew you were going to get a tough time. You knew it. Remember when you first came out, you said a couple of nasty or naughty things about the Wolfman and Vulcan, so you knew what to expect. I uh, was being a bit cheeky, but you know, I wasn't that cheeky. He. He let that guy go easy. So this time, you go in front of me so I can watch you. And while that's settling down, we're going to change the lineup for the men too. We're going to take out Warrior and replace him with Tower. So Matt now faces three Aussies and two Brits. Well, Wolf seems to be taking control out there of the Gladiators. He's even giving Vulcan a few pointers. Let's see how Matt goes. He needs Three, 10 points here. Two, one. Down he goes, up to Vulcan first up. Straight past Vulcan, Wolf won't like that. Let's see if he can make up for it. Wolf now, holding up Matt. Matt's not getting past, he has now. He's up to Taipan. Taipan, can he stop him? He pushes him away. Next up is Rhino. Rhino doing a good job on Matt here. Precious time running out. Towers the last stop. He's over the top. Watch. Let's watch this again. He came up to Tower and Tower just set him free. Well, that's a turn up. Wolf thanking Vulcan. Yeah, it's good to see. They're on the same side, so they should. I take back what I said. I watched him then and he was really trying hard. And so you should, Wolf. There's no whip in this fella. What do you reckon, Vulcan? I am good. The woman say I'm good. I must be good. <laughs> You're Over good, there. mate. You're good. No problems yeah. there. Now, John Anderson, there seems to be a little bit of confusion as to uh, how Matt finished the gauntlet. We've talked uh, among the referees. Right. We've looked at the situation, considered it very carefully, and we are of the opinion that Matt was legitimately ejected from the gauntlet. Therefore, and there are no points No to points Matt. at all. Matt, disappointed with that effort. Yeah, it's a very, very hard push through. Which one was the hardest to get through? It's all a blur when you're going through. I don't even know I was in there with you. Well, I noticed Wolf was holding you down there for a while. Yeah, I've come up and, yeah, took some hard blows from all of them. Well, you certainly took a hard blow from uh, Tower at the yeah. end. He's called me twice now, Tower. He's good. It was close last week, and it's just as close this week. Australia and Great Britain, nine each.